Hello, this is Jerry Zaremski from the Buffalo News Washington Bureau. It's Monday, and that means it's time for me once again to tell you a little bit about what's happening here in Washington this week, and really what's happening in the political world and how I'm going to be covering it. Frankly, there's not much happening in Washington right now. All eyes are turning to the campaign trail with Congress gone for a few weeks, and that means I'm going to be turning my uh, attention to the campaign trail as well. I've already been doing many stories, as you've probably noticed, about the congressional race in New York's 27th district, and I'm planning to do more stories on that race this week. In particular, the appointment of Paul Ryan as Mitt Romney's uh, running mate last week elevates the issue of Medicare in this race and in many of the congressional races across the country. And I'm going to be taking a closer look at that this week, um, as I probably will be doing later in the campaign as well. It's going to be such a central issue uh, to the Hochul Collins race that there are many nuanced angles of it that I need to report on. I'm going to pick out one of those nuanced angles this week and focus on it, and you'll probably be seeing that story over the weekend. Uh, before that, I think there may be some other news in that race, uh, some other political news coming down the pike, but nothing specific right now. And that's actually, for me, good, because I also have some planning I need to do. Uh, both my colleague Bob McCarthy and I will be heading to the Republican convention a week from this coming Saturday. And preparing to cover a convention is, is a bit of an arduous task. There's all sorts of uh, T's to cross and I's to dot and all sorts of uh, detailed planning that needs to be done uh, bef before we even get to Tampa. So I've got some of those kind of prosaic details to attend to this week as well. Uh, now, given that this is such an intense campaign season, I'm sure there'll be other news coming along that I'll be writing about as well. So I hope uh, you'll be reading the Buffalo News to see what I've got going. Um, thank you very much and tune in next week, please. Thanks. Bye.